Hi, I'm Jim Hamilton, Executive Director at Arctic Barnabas Ministries. We provide missionary care for 150 missionaries, pastors, and their families in 118 villages and remote areas across Alaska and in northern Canada. A missionary support system is a critical component of having a stable and a sustainable gospel-centered presence among our people groups in Alaska and all across our communities. As we navigate life and leadership in this new emerging world triggered by COVID-19, a ministry remodel is the key success factor. Many people in ministries are using words like uncertainty, struggle, difficulty to characterize this last year during COVID. At Arctic Barnabas, we use a different word to describe our experience. It's the word opportunity. During COVID-19, God really taught us how to make lemonade out of lemons. We developed our readiness plan early in the COVID year created real-time, relevant, and relational ways to serve our missionary population. God provided us with creative ways to make village mission trips, deliver food, supplies, and other essentials and needed resources to villages and our remote ministry families. So prayer for and coaching conversations with missionaries didn't just bless us, but it was so productive for them. Our retreat in a box provided 93 missionary families with desperately needed refreshment since they could not attend our October in-person retreat that we have offered for the last 19 years. You see, Philippians 4.13 is not just a well-known Bible verse for us at Arctic Barnabas anymore. It is our deeply held belief that continues to shape our behavior as a mission organization. You see, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So here's some really exciting news. After three years of praying and planning, we're expanding missionary care, not just across Alaska from our 118 villages and our 150 ministry families, but more toward that 270 villages and then other remote communities. Not just across Canada, where now we have about six families, but more families in Canada as well. But not just there, but now we're expanding missionary care to Far East Russia. We recently added five families to our missionary care list in Siberia, and we will add more as we travel there this spring. Your prayer and your partnership moves God's plan for missionary care forward. Encouraging, strengthening, equipping missionaries to ensure a gospel-centered presence or church in areas of unreached people groups is our passion and our mission at Arctic Barnabas. But it takes us together to continue to provide the support systems for frontline missionaries so that the kingdom of God moves forward. So here are three priority prayer requests. And then I want to lead us together to pray for these. First of all, be praying for us that God will provide the resources that we need to expand missionary care across Alaska, Canada, and Far East Russia. Second, pray for God's favor and blessing as evangelical missionaries, pastors all over our state, northern Canada, and also in Far East Russia, in villages, remote areas, will begin to build trusting relationships with the people they serve, that they'll share the gospel of Jesus Christ with them, and that they will invest in those folks to make disciples who will make disciples. And then third, pray for ABM's Better Together initiative a collaborative effort among the body of Christ to see a gospel-centered presence in every village and community across Alaska in the next generation. So let's pray right now. Father, these three requests we bring to you now, we pray that you would provide the resources we need for missionary expansion. We pray for evangelical pastors and missionaries all across Alaska, Canada, and Far East Russia. God, help them to build trusting relationships, share the gospel, and invest in disciple-making. Lord, we pray for Better Together Initiative, 
We pray for a collaboration of the body of Christ in Alaska and those who would partner with us outside that we might see a movement of God in this next generation and see gospel-centered presence in churches all over our state. We thank you in Jesus' name. Well, blessings on you as you follow and serve Christ this year.